she joins us now. Good morning to you. Good morning, Ainsley. Good Great morning. to be with you this morning. Well, it's so good to have you on. What is your reaction, first of all, to what's happening at some of these elite universities? And what do you want to hear today? It is abhorrent, Ainsley. It is heinous. This rise and really explosion of anti-Semitism on college campuses is fundamentally un-American. Today's hearing is incredibly important to hold these university presidents accountable. I'm very focused on what's been allowed to fester at Harvard. The fact that President Claudine Gay, that's the president of Harvard University, uh, was silent after th over 30 student groups blamed Israel for the Hamas terrorist attacks that slaughtered over 1,000 Israelis. The fact that the university was silent is unacceptable. I've called for her resignation, but the American people can be assured there will be tough questions for these university presidents today because we want to make sure that anti-Semitism, that we root it out at its core, uh, it has no place in our university and higher education institutions, and look at the assaults that our Jewish students have been facing. It is unacceptable to have that at any college or university in America. Yeah, I don't understand it. Uh, Joe Biden's impeachment inquiry. We're learning, Fox News is learning, that the goal is to vote on this in Congress next week. What can you tell us? You know, it is important that we continue to move the process forward to deliver transparency and accountability for the American people. This vote on the impeachment inquiry would make sure that we are at the apex of our congressional power. There has been no, no surprises stonewalling from responding to subpoenas and turning over documents. And we want to make sure that uh, the Congress is able to hear from all the witnesses. So that, uh, this allows us to have those closed door depositions, which are very important, prior to open hearings. So I anticipate an impeachment inquiry vote uh, imminently, uh, before, certainly before the end of the year. Ultimately, it's the speaker's decision to make, but our members want to make sure that we have all the facts that I believe will uncover the greatest political scandal in our nation's history. I heard, uh, I was reading this morning that Comer is saying that Joe Biden was on Hunter's payroll, not through his personal bank account, but he was getting paid, I don't know, weekly, bi-weekly, continuously through one of his business accounts. That is true, Ainsley, and we would not know that were it not for the great oversight work of Jamie Comer and his committee. And bank records don't lie, Ainsley. The mainstream media, they may refuse to report this, but whether it's checks, $240,000, uh, made out to Joe Biden from his family who benefited from adversaries like communist China, like Russia, or whether it's this monthly payroll, bank records do not lie. Congresswoman, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, Ainsley. You're welcome.